All right, here we're trying to subtract a mixed number from a whole number. And uh, we can see that the whole number is larger than the mixed number, so it is possible to subtract them. Um, but we're going to need to have a common denominator. And uh, we should also uh, make the, the whole number into a mixed fraction. And here's how we do that. So we're going to knock it down to 7. And, of course, it would be 7 and 8 over 8. And the reason why I'm doing 8 over 8 instead of 4 over 4 or whatever is because the denominator on the second one is also an 8. So if we look at the 7 and 8 over 8, well, 8 over 8 is just 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. So this is still equal to 8. We just made it a mixed number so that we can easily subtract these mixed numbers. So 7 minus 2 is 5. 8 minus 3 is 5. And the common denominator is 8. So we get 5 and 5 eighths.